In a world full of distractions, there is one big question on every dog owner's lips. How do I become more than just the person holding the other end of the leash? We all get dogs with a dream in mind, a vision of the future. And if right now your everyday reality isn't quite that picture you had in mind, you are in the right place. It really doesn't have to be this way. You absolutely can and will be more to your dog than just the person who gets in between them and the world. The key is you need to be more sexy. More sexy than the neighborhood cats. More sexy than the jogger in the park. More sexy than that half-eaten hamburger they just found on the floor. And yes, even more sexy than the dog across the road. I'm Tom. And I'm Lauren. Together, Together we're, we're Absolute dogs. dogs. And you're listening to the Sexier Than a Squirrel podcast. Hello and welcome to the Sexier Than a Squirrel podcast, the podcast that teaches you how to be the best dog owner in the world. And today we have a special guest. Special <laughs> guest, Alexo. Now, Alexo, you've been around our program for how many years now? Uh, probably five or six years. Five wow. or six years, which is incredible. And we thought we'd take this opportunity whilst you're here in the UK to have a bit of a, I suppose it's like a table side chat, mm. um, get a little bit of sort of how it works for you as a student and mm. also how it works for you as a pro dog trainer because you're also one of our pro dog trainers. How many years have you been a pro dog trainer? About five. Wow, so, so it really cool. jumped in very early yeah, in the program. First generation. First generation yeah. PDT. <laughs> and so for me, it was a really cool opportunity to just take this moment mm. to share that with all of our super cool podcast listeners yeah. because it might be a, a cool way to view it and equally a really cool um, way to sort of find out and delve deeper a little bit more. Absolutely. So um, I guess what we'd love to hear about, and I'm sure everybody would love to hear about, first of all, is, is what led you to games-based training? Like, how did you, how did you find it? Um, I was a dog trainer for about 10 years professionally, and uh, I had a difficult dog. And um, in the way to training that dog, I got every certification I could. And nothing helped me. I was fired from my behaviorist because she oh, no. decided that she couldn't help my dog. Oh, no. Alexa was fired. So let alone Alexa. <laughs> yeah, I know. So and uh, one night crying and searching Dr. Mm. Google, I came across Absolute Dogs. Um, I found NBN DVD, I downloaded it, watched it that night, finished it by eight o'clock in the morning, started playing the games. Wow. It all made sense. Um, a year later, my dog started winning in agility and wow. the dog that I actually got it for is my best stooge dog and he loves everything that he was afraid of. That's so Ooh. cool. What a that journey. Is, that is amazing. And it's, I'm sure a lot of people will be able to relate to it, that actually sometimes we get a dog that maybe questions our, um, our approach a little bit. It makes us kind of look for different answers and leads us down a bit of a different path. Definitely. Cool. And so for you now, this, I mean, that was, that was a, a good few years ago. <laughs> like, where are you now? Like, what's it about now for you? I'm very spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> I live in a house for, with seven dogs, and if you go to the house, nobody knows how many dogs we have. <laughs> um, my dogs are collies, but they pretty much behave like Labradors. They love <laughs> life, they love everybody, they love everything. They are fearless, bomb-proof. Uh, I have a Spaniel that is just a riot. <laughs> and in terms of like what you do now, like uh, back um, seven, six years ago when you first found us, what did you do for a living then? Um, I was working as a, a trainer part time and I was doing a lot of publishing work, mm -hmm. freelancing from home so that I could spend time with my dogs and I could teach other people. And how about now? Uh, now I'm a full time trainer. I do a lot of online. And uh, I work with special cases, <laughs> my favorite. And um, I just... And how, how did this come about? Like, how did that come about that actually... Um, I know you... So you started by joining Pro Dog Trainer? Yes, yeah, so I joined Pro Dog Trainer and then I decided that my desk job wasn't <laughs> funny anymore. It wasn't rewarding. <laughs> and um, I started reducing hours. Luckily, with COVID, 
we got all laid off. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the perfect transition. And then kind of forced um, your hand a little bit. Yeah, on that yeah, one. may as well. Mm. And I haven't looked back since then. That's so cool. That's so cool. And so just kind of touching on the pro dog trainer program what you know in going through that program what did you what did you get out of it um a lot of it well um the learning is amazing the focus on behavior is just out of this world we i think we are ahead of every other trainer uh, mm. yeah they are they are way running behind with all their science and I know that um, because I've obviously visited the States a few times teaching and I know I've obviously seen lots of your videos and I often say, oh, Alexa, there's more to do or that we can do so much more. Like it definitely doesn't feel like yet for me that actually, like you just said, I think that there's a lot of um, catching up to do potentially um, loads more aversive meth methods out there. Um, mm. lots more um, maybe like I can go in the, the shops in the States and find like a, a shock um, not a shock collar a, a prong collar mm. very easily available would you say that's something that you see or is that not something you see is it something that I've, I've maybe seen we, we still see it a lot and we see a lot of balance trainers mm -hmm. and what that does that use, mean because uh, it supposedly sounds supposedly they sounds train good, with food right? until but, the dog knows the behavior and then they just yell at the dog when doesn't get mm. it right because they know better. Interesting. Yeah, so they they go both both extremes. Yeah. Uh, in general, I think even with the positive dog trainers, I think they are missing the fun. Mm. So, so the difference mm. that you would see here would be the fun element and yes, the yeah, joy the, element. You see the dogs here, they are having a blast. Yeah. Um, our dogs are well behaved. I love it. Having fun and getting good results. That's great. So um, what I think one of the big kind of questions that people have in, in encountering a, a new type of training, um, and it's one that we hear a lot is um, it's great that it's worked for, um, you know, all these dogs that we tell people about. But will it work for my dog? Will it work for my breed of dog? Will it work for the problem that I have for my dog? What would be your answer to that in your experience, kind of seeing people on the ground, you're not us, and you are playing the games with dogs? I will say it works for every dog, every breed. Uh, the important thing is that you let go of everything you know, <laughs> and you just embrace it and go for it. Brilliant. Trust the process. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. So you're all in. Yep. Be all in. That's so cool. That and brilliant. where you are, have you met any other pro dog trainers or other other people around in, within your network now? So how does it work? Um, yeah, well, I, I actually am um, lucky enough that I share the house with another pro dog trainer. Amazing. So cool. and, um, <laughs> and we, I have a few other friends that are in the area and others that are in the West Coast. And we happen to take each other's classes and we just support each other and we have a uh, meeting every once in a while so, so cool. that we can all help each other and troubleshoot. Brilliant. And That's what would so you cool. say makes the um, Absolute Dogs um, community or Pro Dog Trainer or Training Academy stand out? Like what's the difference? Uh, I would say it's our way of life. Mm. So you have to be all in it and it's just different. Yeah. And different in a good way, like different in a like for like for me, I think I, I don't know if I think about it, the thing that makes us stand out would be it's bright in every way. Like it's bright, like it's it's bright in fun. It's bright in color. Like those are the things that stand out for me. But how about for you? I would say it makes you get up every day and love your life. So it could be life changing. That's so cool. Like almost like a life coaching dog training. Yeah, 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 pretty much. That's a lot of what we do, I think. I think uh, we focus more on teaching the owners. So the human part of the relationship. The human part of the, yeah, that's yeah. right. That's so cool. And so um, I guess, you know, for everybody listening, they might be wondering kind of where they can start, what they can, um, what they can How do. they could almost get on that sort of, um, sort of like learning opportunity yeah, because it feels like sometimes they might hear that and be like, I really want to be part of this, um, yeah. but it might feel but too it, difficult. It's like, where do we start? And so, um, you know, everybody at home, best place to start would be the Sexier Than a Squirrel Challenge. And that's a 25 day challenge. You get a video a day. I've got a funny story about this really quickly. We've got a funny story. So Alexa, 
yeah, Alexo's just just story. just flown uh, into into the UK and um, go on, tell us your yeah, story. Yeah, so I arrived at Heathrow Airport and uh, my passport didn't scan, mm -hmm. so I was sent to a human customs officer, and then she asked me how long I was going to stay and where I was staying. So I said, "I'm the Devon Dogs," and they said, "Oh, is that uh, the same as Absolute Dogs?" And I said, "Yes." Oh, I did sexier than a squirrel. Oh, oh, that is amazing. I'm one of the trainers. So, <laughs> so she just stamped my passport and let me go. Off Love she it. goes. Go. She is today. sexier. She gets passport controls super quick. But that's too cool <laughs> that like literally the ripple effect of um, being a pro dog trainer and what you do, right. even at customs, you are sexy than a squirrel. Mm. Tom can't go through Waitrose without being sexy than a squirrel. Like, <laughs> that, literally. Has screamed across Sexier Waitrose, than a which, squirrel. I, I wish we'd chosen a different tagline. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, you know, guys, everybody at home listening, the Sexy Than A Squirrel Challenge is absolutely, you know, where where we would say to start. Um, you're going to see immediate real life results through the process of playing the games. And also it really is, um, the, the cool thing about it is that each video is made up of three parts. So the first part, we show you one of the games that you play with your dog and you get real life results whether it be a recall or you know um, loose lead walking or whatever it is that you're working on the second part of the video we actually do a bit of a deep dive so we dive into the science and the theory behind um behind the games and transforming your struggles and then the third part you get to see us coach other people play the games with their dogs now alexo have you played the sexy than a squirrel challenge uh, about five times. <laughs> <laughs> so, and when Alexa says it. this, she means the Sex and the Squirrel Challenge has lots of different games in there. When she says five times, probably five times through the whole process, right? Yeah. Um, and so I that's a that. really, really cool thing. And and I would absolutely reiterate and um, enhance, well, say, like say what Tom said again and again and again, because so many people come to us and don't know where to start. It's the best place to start. You get in there, you get hands on. Yeah. Just like Alexo says, you get that boost of energy, a bit of life coaching. Mm -hmm. You know what? If if you're feeling stuck in a rut or a little bit Eeyore where it's like, oh, don't even bother. My dog's so difficult. It's a pain. It's because he's a terrier or whatever yeah. else he might be. And I think that's the moment that you go, no, come on, not why me. Let's try me. Let's jump into Sexy and Squirrel. Let's have a go for the sake of like 27 pounds. Like it yeah. really is a huge exactly. opportunity. <laughs> And the cool thing is, is you know, take um, take Alexa's story as an example from fired by her behaviorist to now going out there and transforming Being other dogs the um, and, yeah. um, and, and behavior struggles through these games. You know, you might be just jumping into this right now for your own dog, but we'll be honest, it probably won't stop there. So prepare yourself. So. If you've ever had an experience, anything like Alexo, please share it with us first yeah. off, because we love to hear our human transformations because they are really, well, we're proud of you, like hugely proud yeah. of you. And we're really so cool. happy that you're um, here enhancing your learning over and over. Like you really are part of this community and very much part of this community. Mm -hmm. I think it's really, really very clear that you are very, you're ingrained here. You're ingrained. <laughs> um, she's got a t-shirt on and she, you're here. First off, we'd love you to share if, if you have had any experiences like yeah. this, because it's, it's definitely definitely something that we are very very um happy to hear secondly if there's anyone you'd like to share this with that you feel they need this opportunity or they deserve this opportunity or you wish that they'd get to see it and maybe they weren't scrolling dr google late at night when they were sort of sobbing yeah. about their sort of super bad day yeah. and actually you they know need a who's hand been fired by their behavior is this you is know where to send them <laughs> this is the thing like here we do not close the doors we absolutely no dog or relationship is ever lost yeah. we always want to give hope we always always want to be there to say there is a game for that and we and know really that there's a lot of fun to be had here yeah. in and, and really life-changing results which i love i love hearing that firsthand it's special yeah so guys with that that was this episode of the sexier than a squirrel podcast we will see you next week thank you so much alexo for joining yeah. us and sharing your story game changer and in the meantime remember stay, stay sexy, sexy. Hey, before you go, have you taken part in the worldwide Sexier Than A Squirrel Challenge? It's a 25-day online video program, huge energy, amazing community, and over 6,000 people are already taking part. The only question is, you know where you are today, where do you want to be 25 days from now? Head to absolutedogs.me forward slash sexy.